The contents of this video is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be updating Atmosphere and Hecate that support Switch Firmware 18.0.0. Atmosphere's latest version is 1.7.0 and Hecate is 6.1.1 at the time of this video. With that being said, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so before we get started, I would like to mention real quick that there is no reason to update to Firmware 18.0.0. If you're still on anything lower or 17.01, you should stay there because that has the most support from everything that has to do with CFW. This video is mainly for those that accidentally update to 18.00 and they can get back into CFW and either downgrade or stay on 18.00. But ultimately, it's up to you if you want to update. This pack is working fine with the basics of CFW, if you know what I mean. And if you don't, you can leave a comment and ask me. But I just wanted to dis disclose that because I don't want to encourage anybody to update when they don't have to. With that being said, I just want to show you all real quick before we start updating to the latest CFW that right under my system update, it is 17.0.1 and I'm still using the last atmosphere, which was 1.6.2. So after we're done with this, it's going to be 18.0.0 with atmosphere 1.6.7. So let's go ahead and continue. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is open up our SD card, and it does not matter how you open up your SD card as long as you're able to transfer your files successfully. Right now, I'm using the Hecate SD card tools to access my SD card. I find that to be the best option, but that's up to you. If you want to know how I'm doing this on the Hecate, if you've never heard of it, you can leave a comment down below, and I can guide you through that in the comments. But with your SD card open, we can have it ready. Uh, for transfer and then we need to download these two zip files uh, to update the CFW. If you look in the description down below there's going to be several links and one of them should say download click here to download the other side AMS 1.7.0 Tesla. So this is the Tesla pack and I prefer this one over the other packs that I've been making in the past just runs a lot more smoothly. I did update Tesla to support 18.00 and things like that before I did this. And I also tested it on my switch, my both switches, my OLED and my regular switch to make sure it works. And I hope it works for you. But with that, once you're here, once you click on that link, you can just scroll down to the assets area and then click on this link to start the download process. After that, you can look back in the description and then click on the link that says download the other side Hecate 6.1.1 here. Once you do that, you can get to this page and then do the same thing. Click on this link to start the download process, and then you can have them move to the desktop like I have done already. Now that we have the two zip files, before we do any extraction, we need to edit the SD card. So when I talk about edit, editing the SD card, I recommend highly to delete the atmosphere folder and the bootloader folder. And I know that's very scary to some, and I know some places don't recommend it either, but I prefer to have as minimal issues as possible to have the maximum success as possible. So with that, I delete the atmosphere and the bootloader. But the reason why I am bringing it up as well, or talking with caution, is that if you have anything important inside the atmosphere folder or the bootloader folder, then you can just remove it to the side and then uh, put it back in after you finish extracting the new files. So I don't recommend doing that either because a lot of the times people use uh, sys modules that are outdated and do not work for 18.0.0. So you would have to get rid of it anyways. But I just offer that option for you to take out anything that you care about. Maybe inside your bootloader, you have uh, specific images that you want to keep for your um, launch screen. That'd be up to you. Same thing for the atmosphere. So with the knowledge of that, what we need to do is just highlight atmosphere, then highlight bootloader, and then delete them. 
After that, you can go to either one of these zip files. Let's go ahead and start with the AMS 1.7.0. And then I'm going to be using uh, 7-zip to extract these files. So if you want to follow along with me exactly, I'll leave a download link to 7-zip, and then you can install it on your PC. Then follow with me after. But with 7-zip, I'm going to right-click and then use 7-zip to open the archive. And here in 7-zip, you're going to want to highlight all these files, and then you're going to extract them to the root of your SD card. The root is the beginning of the SD card without being inside any of your folders. So after you highlight, you're going to drop them here in this empty area where there's no folders, and then extract all the files. So once you get this message that it says that it has this many files with the same names, just go ahead and replace the files in the destination. Those are okay to replace instead of delete because there's a lot of files that you might have that uh, that there are to delete. But atmosphere and the bootloader are the most important for running the CFW. So that's why I prefer to delete those. After you're done with the atmosphere, uh, pack you can go ahead and go to this pack here for the Hecate 6.1.1 and same thing with 7-zip we're going to right click open the archive highlight both files and then extract them to the root of the SD card same thing if it has any uh, files with the same name just replace the files in the destination so just like my other packs I give you a basic just a basic setup of custom CFW and trying to watch what I say. And it has everything you need. So, or the basic necessities of what you need. Uh, I don't know if I can go in any further than that, but it works. Just let you know, it works. It doesn't have anything fancy, no themes, no extra apps. The only thing I did add is inside the switch folder, I add my app, I add the DBI installer, and then I add the Tesla files uh, to help things run uh, with what the CFW needs. So this is just the basic setups and uh, that way it won't be so much of a big file and a burden on your uh, switch. And then it'd be up to you if you want to add whatever you want to after. But we are done with the SD card. We can just eject and go back to Hecate. Try it out. All right, so after you eject from Hecate, you can go back and go back to home then you can go ahead and click on reload here once you click on reload it should bring you back to the screen here and this is going to be like if you were wherever you had your SD card and you booted into Hecate for the first time after doing the update this is what it's going to look like so you just need to just do this one time of putting your um, date and time and that's it after that the reason why I'm showing you this is because I have several options inside this pack because for some reason my options that I had which was just these three these first three worked just fine for a long time then all of a sudden people started using this option here with the FSSO or zero with Hecate and now it only works for those people using that. I have no idea why, haven't figured it out, but I just went ahead and added all of them. So to me, all of them work already. I always use this first option, but of course, if my first option doesn't work for you, you can try any one of the other ones. These two right here, this one and this one are for EMU MMC, and these two right here are for regular SysNAND with CFW. So if you have an EMU MMC, then you would use either one of these options. So I'm going to go ahead and use this option and boot into CFW. All right, so it looks like we have no crashing. And if you made it here, then you should be good to go. But uh, we can go ahead and check to see if you are updated and I'm going to switch back to my dock view mode so that way you can see this in better quality. All right, so I was about to update to 18.00 and I wanted to show you all real quick if the pack is working, you could test by using any forwarder because that would be the ultimate test. Uh, also with other things working for you as well, but this would be the ultimate test. If you don't have it, that's okay. 
just to show you that it's working for me, I can enter my forwarder and with this sign, you should be good to go. Other than that, I did mention that this is the Tesla version of this pack and using Tesla, which you don't have anything right now besides one app. If you want to enter the Tesla menu, you can hold the left shoulder button. Also hold down on the D pad and then press the right analog stick. And then your Tesla menu should pop up here. Now, if it doesn't pop up for you using this combination, you might have a different version of Tesla. If you took out everything from Amazon and trying to put it back, you might have an older version. You might have a version of Tesla that has a different button configuration as well. But if your Tesla menu pops up, that's a good thing as well. The only thing that uh, these other two things that you uh, you can't use them, but this app is the one that I created myself. If you were to enter here, it would take you automatically back into Hecate. So this does work for regular switches, V1s, V2s, and OLED. But just wanted to tell you all real quick before I update to 18.00. Okay, so to update to 18.00, I'm going to be using the app that I released, which is the AIO Switch Updater. I'm not the creator of this app. I just released my own version because I have my packs attached to it and also added uh, the firmware updates that you can download directly to your Switch and you can do all of the updates from your Switch using Wi-Fi. But just to give you a quick look, if you're interested in this, I can do another video after this one and just let me know in the comments and I will do an update video with using my AIO switch updater. So if you use my version of AIO switch updater and you have an internet connection on your switch, you should be able to see update atmosphere with my latest version of the pack 1.7.0 and you can install this directly into your switch. But I'm going to be getting firmware 18.00 from here. And also those of you that updated and you have got my pack and everything, you could also use this to downgrade. So you would essentially download 17.01 and then it's going to do the download and extraction for you. Then you can use Daybreak to downgrade. But in this case, I'm going to update so that way you can see that it's working for me. And yeah. So I'm going to download this and then I'll get back to you when it's already updated. Okay, so we're back and let's go ahead and check to see if we are updated. Let's go to system settings, scroll all the way down to system. And there we go. Under system update, I am on 18.00 and I have AMS 1.7.0 with an S because I'm using my CFW on SysNand. If you have an E, I'm using, you're using yours on EMU MMC. Now I do have things to protect with automatically updating. So you won't have to update again and have this incident. And I hope it works for you because this is an issue a lot of people have as well. And that's with Exosphere. So right now Exosphere doesn't work anymore, but there is a workaround to have it working. And just to show you, if you go to serial information and everything is all zeros for me. So this helps me not accidentally update and have that issue with trying to play a game real fast. And then I update my firmware. So that's pretty much it. Everything works for me. Tesla menu still works. I can still go into here with 18.00. And yeah. So let me know if it works for you. Let me know if it doesn't work for you. Of course, if it doesn't, I'll uh, leave a comment down below and I'll help you out as best as I can. And if it does work for you, leave a comment as well. Did you update? Did you accidentally update? Or did you update on purpose? Let me know as well on that but other than that just want to say a quick thank you to everybody that has supported me and supported this channel also a thank you to those that have donated to, to this channel i really appreciate it it really means a lot for everybody's support so thank you again and i'll see you on the next one